I want to talk about the uh, the song A Million Souls um, because the story that surrounds the writing of it to me is just kind of incredible. Would you mind telling that story, how you came up with the idea for that and how it turned into a song? Sure. Um, yeah, it's I think it's a great story also because um, it was so unusual to me and and and. Uh, Unfortunately, it has never, never, never happened again like that. Um, I wish it uh, would, but it's it's really like, um, in a way, you could say it's it's a prime example of uh, why and how musicians kind of uh, probably are just uh, some sort of medium channeling some 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 uh, cosmic energies or something. I mean, it sounds completely esoteric now, but but in a way. Um, yeah, where where does the music really come from? I think uh, this this uh, story uh, poses a great uh, answer to that question. Also, because um, you can't really you can't really tell where the music really came from. But but the thing was that um, uh, before this happened, I was on my first large um, international tour after I um, started playing again in the winter of 2018-19 and, and I spent six weeks in South America and played um, all over the continent and um, had a great time and uh, the thing is that uh, for some reason I had to postpone my uh, return flights by almost two weeks or so and this first half of January 2019 I originally had reserved to go to the studio and 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 with all the with all the um experience from 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 the tour just go to the studio and write uh, new tracks which I could then release later in the year. and then um I returned to Berlin much later than planned and all that time was used up already um by extending the tour and I had to go straight to work on some studio client projects and I didn't really have so much time to work on my music anymore. And then um, the time that I had, I, uh, for some reason, I didn't really come up with uh, stuff that really, really convinced me and the labels I, I presented it to. And so the pressure was mounting in the sense of, I was like, oh, if with also with um, the, the amount of time you need on a larger label until they have a slot available for your release and stuff like that. And I was, I was getting in the danger zone of not having any music I could release in 2019 um, just because I was so late at it. And um, yeah, I was, I was nervous and I felt the pressure. And then, uh, yeah, I basically just wrote A Million Souls on a Monday morning in a dream. And I woke up with uh, the groove and the uh, reverb melody in my mind. And I sent myself an email from my bed uh, with a couple of notes. And yeah, luckily I could uh, recover the feeling that I had about the track uh, later at the studio from the notes that I took. And that that was that was part one and part two obviously was that um, the instrumental then at some point was pretty much finished with a couple happy accidents which I have to say were really really important. First of all, um, uh, I only dreamt the first part of the melody and the turnaround that comes twice I think towards the end of the breakdowns yeah. is something I just improvised quickly at the end of the day. I recorded it uh, with my modular through the reverb um, directly to hard disk, no MIDI or anything. And I basically just did this to, to, to capture the idea and to, to properly redo it uh, in the next uh, morning. And then when I arrived at the studio the next morning, I realized it's perfect and I wouldn't even need to tinker with it anymore. And so that was the one happy accident. And the other one was that I um, doubled the uh, main sub bass line, which I did with the ARP 2600. Um, I doubled it with a TB303 one octave higher with this uh, semitone glitch light uh, yeah. thing in it. And that was really the moment where, where it struck me that uh, where I was like, fuck, this is, this is really happening. Because, because that moment when the 303 came in, it really, it really became, the, the, like, the groove became so catchy and infectious. And, and this also was kind of like a, 
happy accident or just some something I almost haphazardly stumbled in, stumbled into by by gut instinct. Like I don't know how to explain it any better way. So that was very significant. And then obviously the instrumental was pretty much done when I um, was looking for a vocalist. And then obviously um, what Francesca did uh, just rounded it out so nicely and the, the the lyrics she wrote i think play a really, really important part in everything and yeah this is how it came about <laughs>